Oh, our good friend Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan, is at it again. And it's great because these guys say one thing, do another thing, or they say one thing and believe it, but still let other things go because it still provides them some revenue. So let's get into what he's saying. I'm not going to share the actual clip. Last time I did that, some copyright issues on YouTube, so I'm not going to do that. But this is pretty much what he's saying is that crypto is a complete sideshow. Cryptocurrency tokens are like pet rocks. That was his thing. He also went on to say that, you know, we've got issues with anti-money laundering, uh, with uh, financing bad people. You've got trafficking and you've got tax evasion. And all of those are supported or at least, you know, uh, bumped up all because of cryptocurrency. That's pretty funny, though, that he's going to mention that all those things that have been in existence well before crypto came about. They've been thriving because of cash, right? More than anything else. So to pin it all of a sudden on crypto being the reason why those things are flourishing, uh, it's pretty interesting, right? And, and pretty false, actually. There was one person on this panel. There's three of them there. Uh, four, three, three actual news anchor people and one J Jamie Dimon. And one of them actually, thankfully, at the end said to that, uh, to that effect that, hey, look, crypto is about 2% of influence of those problems that you mentioned. All of those issues have been there and been thriving well before crypto came about. But it was really the tail end. They kind of just meandered over it and, and he didn't address it and just went to the next topic. And, and here's the beautiful thing that he did say. And I'm going to shape this at the end as to why I think he said this. Is that because not just because he thinks that cryptocurrencies are pet rocks does not mean blockchain isn't viable. Doesn't mean that smart contracts are viable and does not mean that Web3 is not viable. So he made a point to say that, to separate cryptocurrencies from the technology aspect of it. Okay, fair enough. But here's the thing. The cryptocurrency is what drives the blockchain. That's the incentive on the blockchain. And if you don't have those incentives, as it's laid out today, you're not going to have a blockchain that people want to ensure with security there's no incentive for people to actually be on that blockchain. But this is why I think he's saying blockchain smart contracts and Web3 are not viable. Web3 part, I don't think he really cares for. That kind of means that you own your own information and you get to parse your information as you will. I don't think him or banks are going to love that. We know that. They want to be the center of everything. They control things. But where the blockchain and the smart contract comes is they want to create their own chain with their own smart contracts and create those central bank digital currencies. So the CBDCs, which is funny, right? That is, in essence, a cryptocurrency, which he just said is a pet rock. So the value or the pet rock part of it can be applied to cash. There is no value inherent to cash. It's you and I decide or the public at large decides, the entire world decides that this particular currency is what's going to be valuable. And this is what we're going to trade in. And this is how services, goods and services are going to be purchased. That's it. If you put your cash on a stack of, uh, on a table, it's not going to do anything. There's no, there's no inherent value to it. It's just what we decide is valuable together. And then we can actually start using it to, to move things around. So that's the same thing that goes for anything. But they don't address that part of it, right? They're saying cryptocurrencies is terrible because there's no value to it. Cash has no value to it. Okay, so let's let, let let's let's keep apples to apples here and kind of talk the same language. But this is really where they're going, right? The J.P. Morgan is already doing things with their blockchain. It's already doing testing in the background. Been doing it for quite some time. CBDCs are a real thing. They will happen at some point. And what better way for banks and, the, and, and anyone tied to the financial services, what better way to have control, full out control over you than to have these CBDCs in place, which they know where you're spending it. They can suspend the accounts. They can freeze them. They can withdraw. 
they can do whatever they want because that's where they find value in the blockchain, the transparency part. Locking up smart contracts that are going to favor them going forward where they don't have to have any manpower to, to implement what the smart contracts say is perfect for them. So it's always interesting to hear when he comes on. I mean, there JP Morgan is diving into Polygon, which is a layer two. That's even further than just a Bitcoin or an ETH. And they're doing things with them. Why would you do this? So if you felt this strongly, why would you offer Bitcoin, ETH, trading, any of these assets for your clients? Okay, your clients want it. But what do you get out of it? Fees. That's what they want. So they got to find a way to benefit from all this stuff. In the meantime, they're going to continue to poo-poo anything that has to do with cryptocurrency. That's it. So that doesn't mean that everything in the space is great. Of course not. But that doesn't exist in any industry, in any market, in any bank. Not everything in a bank is great. I would, I would argue that most things in a bank are not great. But they come up here, they have this condescending tone, very arrogant about things. And they know, they know. If he's saying that the technology is fine, it's just the cryptocurrency that's the issue, where do you think people found, how, how did it become valuable, the blockchain? It was because of Bitcoin and then later on ETH, the incentive that was laid on the blockchain. That's what made things popular. Yes, the undertone, the principles about transparency, being trustless, borderless, all of that is there. But the real adoption started to happen because of the value of the currencies. So you can't dismiss that and say it's nothing, but we're going to take the blockchain unless you like the technology because it's going to benefit you. And you're going to take guys, they come out with their own JP Morgan coin. They have their own token, like he says, is a pet rock. They have that. Why go through that process if nothing is valuable? So it's always the part about, you know, watch what they do, not what they say. He loves coming on here and he has for some time now, years, talking down about it. But behind the scenes, JP Morgan is doing what they're doing, fully invested in this space. They're in the metaverse, for God's sakes. I'm sure he doesn't think too favorably of that. So... Check this out. Go on Twitter. Go on Google. Just type in Jamie Dimon Crypto and this will pop up for you. And check it out. Watch the whole thing. 